powered by Ford, go further. Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here we are at CES 2013. I am standing in the middle of the hustle bustle of the Samsung booth. Let's walk around and see exactly what amazing things Samsung has to offer this year. I love Samsung Ultrabooks, so I'm really impressed by this new one. 1080p, 10 finger touch display, 1080p, gorgeous, 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 as you can see, super big fan of what Samsung's doing with their display technology. Let me just find the gallery to show off just how gorgeous this display is. Gotta totally love it. Right, so this actually comes a Core i5, Core i7. It's got an uh, AMD Radeon HD 8570M graphics card, which is totally great. And if we take a look at the system itself, I'm just gonna close it. Actually, before I close it up, let's take a quick look at the keyboard. Uh, Samsung's keyboards are always fantastic. Love the full-size shift keys here. Windows key, obviously, to bring it back to home. Stylish power button, really great. So if we just close it up and take a look at exactly how thin this Ultrabook is, it is stunning. So we have a full-size card reader here, two USB 2.0. There's the Kensington lock. Around the back, we don't have anything. Around the bottom, it's totally sealed, like most Ultrabooks are. Around this side, we have a PSU. Here's a drop-down full-size Ethernet, which I love because I'm always forgetting my dongle places with my ASUS. We have full-size HDMI, USB 3.0. There's a unified headphone, microphone jack, and there's a display port around there. Around the front, we don't have anything else to look at. So this has been the Samsung Series 7 Ultrabook. Behind me, we have the world's first curved OLED TV. Why you need it, I'm not sure. Proof of concept, totally awesome. 55 inches, uh, because of the OLED, things are a little more like poppy, and apparently because of the curve, it's even more like uh, No word on if this is ever gonna come out, but it's still cool, right? Samsung also has an amazing series of monitors, the Samsung Series 9. As you can see, it's gonna demonstrate exactly how it tilts around. You can auto adjust the white balance. It has an amazing kind of gamma correction available as well. This is a stunningly beautiful monitor. Samsung has even released a smart oven. So this is an oven that you can actually use an app to control with a, your smartphone. So you can actually do an oven guide. It'll actually, it'll actually change the heat. You can broil. But what's kind of crazy is, well, if it's safe, is that you can't turn the oven on with your smartphone. It's a safety feature. So actually, how big is your house that you can't just walk over to the oven and broil it or turn it, you know, it's just, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sold, I'm not on board. I think how big is your home that you can't walk to your oven and broil your chicken? You should probably be paying attention to it if you want it to taste good. Here we are behind the scenes at CES. We're at the Ford booth. It's not even open. They're still setting up. We're getting an early look at what's happening here. So let me tell you, Sync is about helping keep you connected while on the go. One of the most useful features of Sync is its ability to control what you're listening to. Sync AppLink gives you the power to control apps like Pandora, Slack, or Radio, all with your voice. Pandora, please say a command. Skip. But sometimes you want to play your own tunes. Sync gives you hands-free control of your music with your digital music player, USB drive, or other compatible storage device. If you ask it to play similar music, Sync will even use your own tunes to make a playlist. Thanks again to Ford for letting us backstage to see everything that's happening a little bit early and for powering Mobile Geek CES special. Display technologies are even showing up in washers and dryers. Samsung has this amazing screen in here and you can actually set your timer for, you know, like whenever the cheaper water happens. And then the washer dryer can actually even just send you a message letting you know that your washing's done. My thing is, um, I mean, you have to physically go to your washer and dryer to take the clothes in and out. So how big is my house that I can't walk to my dryer and check? Anyways, my take on that. The Samsung booth is obviously laden with so much new, so much amazing technology. These 4K TVs are stunning. I actually kind of maybe will think about buying a TV in the future just for this technology. Behind me, we have a 110 inch massive, massive 4K TV. It is just enormous. I'm really not sure uh, what, what house this would fit in because it's just so big. But it actually isn't gonna be coming to market. The one behind it, the 85 inch, 
is. So I've been Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks taking a look at some of the really cool stuff that Samsung has to offer at CES 2013.